Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, how to create the next part uh, of a food deliver uh, project, online food deliver project. So in the last video tutorial, you have seen all these models like uh, roles, user, payment details, order items, order item type, item category, cat, card item, card and application user and address as well. In this video, first of all, create the model that is the core part of any project and the next part is the part of repository so uh, just go for the repositories uh, project that is the class library project in the class library project you have to must add first of all uh, generic repositories so here we have a infrastructure before going for the infrastructure must to add uh, application db context uh, in your project okay so in the in this project actually we have some uh, packages like uh, microsoft.aspnetcore.identity microsoft.aspnetcore.identity.entity framework core the next one is microsoft.entity framework core or sql server and the next one is microsoft.entity framework core or tools so must to add into your project then after you have to create application db context file application db context file is inherited from identity db context with the user role and the type of integer okay so the next part is application db context is actually we have some uh, uh, options attribute for the db context options and pass that options with the base class now after that your db context file have uh, add these models in the db set for the creating tables so in the db set we have a categories items item type order order items cards cards item address and the payment details so fully prepared your application db context now the next part is the repository for the generic repository you can say so here we have a i repository interface in the infrastructure folder in the infrastructure folder we have a i repository and uh, that class uh, we, you can say that i repository and where t is the class name where t is the class and you can say um, in in the i repository or the zen repository uh, interface we have some methods like i numerable of t get all i find uh, t find object t void add entity update remove and delete these are the common methods as well we have a save changes method also there uh, that uh, written type is integer so uh, here we have some methods in the generic repository so implementation of the generic repository is there like that So here we have a implementation of a repository section, repository t, i repository where t is a class. Now the application db context is there. So initialize that db context, and now after that uh, in the add method we have db context dot set of t. Here set of t I mean to say that any uh, information with the related to the models. Okay so like the card so db context dot set card dot add entity in the card okay and the next one is a delete so t entity db context dot set of t dot find id and after that if entity is not null then db context dot set of t dot remove entity now the next one is the find uh, i mean to say that any object so return db context dot set of t dot find id and the next one is i numerable of t dot get all db context dot set of t dot to, to list remove as well db context dot set of t dot remove entity so these are the methods save changes like that db context dot save changes update uh, db context dot set of t dot update with the entities so here we have a implemented repository the implemented generic repository the next one is is actually uh, all things are clear now the next thing is to create ui or the service layer before going for the service layer like uh, if you want to create a uh, user uh, or you can say that authentication repository or you can say authentication services 
so here we have a authenticated service is actually create user uh, in the create user we have a user as well as the password okay so uh, this is actually doing for the next one before uh, doing this first of all add a new view model like a user view model and going for the service layer uh, that is the repository uh, and go for first of all controller section that is the account controller in the account controller you first of all add i authentication repository and before going to add i authentication repository or you can say the dependency must to add that uh, dependency in the program.cs file in the program.cs file here we have a repository builder.service.addscoped i authentication repository as well as authentication repository now go for the next part that is here we have two methods first one is the login HTTP cat and the next one is the login that is the part number two in the login here we have a login view model as well as string return URL in the login view model uh, here we have a new view model that is the login view model in the login view model here we have uh, created a new project that is the view model that is the class library project in the login view model here we have two uh, properties only uh, that is the email and the password on the basis of the email and the password you just go for the next okay so uh, just check first of all going for the login must to add or you can say that create user um, that basis on the sign up so sign up that is HTTP cat and HTTP post it here so HTTP post uh, for the user view model uh, in the uh, sign up uh, HTTP post in the I authentication repository here we have a create user where we have a user and the passwords so just call sign up user view model in the user view model you can say that uh, go for definition here we have a user view model and in the user view model here we have a id email name passwords confirmed password and the phone number so that part is actually existing in the view model that is user view model in the user view model uh, that's first of all check the model dot is state is valid and after that initialize the new user by their uh, pro by these properties uh, user equals to new user uh, name equals to model dot name that is uh, user dot name and after that you can call authentication repository dot create user with the user and the password is model dot password and after the result redirect to the login function here we have so okay so that part is actually exist uh, in the sign up in the sign up methods now after the user is created just go for the login sections so here we have a login so uh, just after that we can discuss in the later videos and uh, because first of all go for the i authentication repository here we have a create user where we have a user and the passwords go for your uh, authentication repository in the authentication repository here we have i authenticated repository that is inherited from three uh, first of all use three classes sign in manager user manager and the role manager and initialize in the constructor also in the first of all create user uh, here we have a user password in the user manager dot create async with the user dot passwords dot result if result is succeeded then assign the role that is user and user manager dot add to role async user that is this and the role okay now the result is if uh, result is succeeded then return true otherwise false so here we have a create user section 